This is a poly panel. It may not look like much, but print enough of these and you can make anything. Hey guys, welcome to Make Anything. I'm Devin and I'm so incredibly excited about this little triangle. Not just because of all this stuff I have on my desk, but just because of the potential of what this can become with your help. So let me tell you all about this poly panel thing. Cool. This is a poly panel. So is this. And so is this. Just like you and me, they come in all sorts of beautiful shapes and sizes. And just like you and me, they can get along regardless. The idea behind poly panels is that they're all part of this system where they have these edges with these little connector snaps on them that allow any one poly panel to connect to any other poly panel. Just with a little snap. They stick together, they can come apart, you can build all sorts of different things by sticking them together in different combinations. Think of it like an open-ended construction toy, kind of like Legos. But rather than just making toys, you can make actual functional things. And thanks to 3D printing, you can make anything. With the triangle poly panel alone, you can already do any number of things. You can combine them to make this kind of crystal structure. It's rigid, it's hard, and it's strong. But take those same triangles and rearrange them, and you can make interesting moving shapes like this thing or this thing, pretty cool, right? You can make all sorts of crazy polyhedra. That's already super cool, right? And that's basically where I started with this project. It was kind of just my next iteration on top of my folding prints that I've shared with you guys in the past. Polyhedra are awesome, so that's super cool, but it's nothing too new, it's nothing super innovative, it's not a game changer, but it doesn't stop there with poly panels, because on top of the basic panels, the triangles, the squares, the pentagons, you know, your basic polygons, we also have specialty panels. Here, for example, is a container that I made using those triangle poly panels, as well as a pentagon on the bottom and a specialty poly panel on top. So this one is a little twist top lid. You've got a lid that you print out, a poly panel top, you can connect that, and now I've got a container for my marbles. Or a fancy maraca. All right, so with this twisty top lid, we can now make all sorts of different sized containers that have ceiling tops. So that's one thing. But then, hey, how about we make a bag out of poly panels? This is made out of a bunch of triangles, some squares on the bottom, and then some more specialty panels these little handles that make this a nice little bag that uh, perfectly fits my two sketchbooks. Yeah, it's a real bag. I can hold it, it's sturdy, I can take this around, and you know, it's a functional print. Here's another functional bag I made, a kind of clutch type thing, and uh, once again, I used some specialty panels. I have a little fancy tab at the top to lift the lid. It's got these strap connectors on the sides where I will connect a fabric strap. And this bag was totally just improvised. I kind of printed out a bunch of triangles and, and built this really cool design in a matter of minutes. You know, you can make it any size you want. This one, for example, is the perfect size for the love of my life. 
Yeah, I'm still gonna have to add those straps. I've been busy making a million of everything, but you can get the idea, right? That we can make some actually really nice looking functional things. Poly panels aren't just a toy. That said, you can make toys, especially once you start combining a bunch of specialty panels here. I've got these flexible ones that act kind of like springs and I've got a little blaster. Let me just get my sponge balls out here. Oh, there they go. Load it up. <laughs> okay, that kind of works, but you know, it may not be the coolest thing, but it's not a big deal because I can just tear it apart and turn it into something else whenever I want. Check it out, I made some Tetris blocks. Oh, you decide you don't like Tetris anymore? That's fine. Just tear it apart, stick it together, turn it into something new. Hey, I just invented a new Tetris block. You know, I'll admit in the 3D printing community, oftentimes we end up printing things just because we can, because it's fun. And that can be quite wasteful, frankly. But with poly panels, that's not really such a big problem because as soon as you get tired of something, you can tear it apart and use those same pieces to make something completely different. So that I think is an awesome way to minimize waste and to get the most life out of your 3D prints. Poly panels. Oh, this one's fun. I built these massive functional pliers. They kind of look like something out of Minecraft. And well, it's basically just triangle poly panels stuck together, some squares, and then a few of my specialty panels. So here we have some square doublers, which is basically just a piece that lets you stick two squares together so that you can have more connections. And then there's just one little flexible panel here that acts as the spring. And there we go. We've got a fun little functional, functional part. This thing does have some pretty good tension. Let's see. It works pretty well. Well, as far as a massive oversized pair of pliers goes. Uh, I bet you're wondering what that thing is. What's more fun than a marble machine? Ah, uh, let's see. Here's another bag I made. It's a container made of poly panels to hold more poly panels. A bunch of short poly panels stuck together and you've got yourself a kind of a ribbon or strap type thing. Make them skinny and you've got springs. Here I've got a specialty panel. It's just two pieces stuck together to form a surprisingly good bearing. Now you can make spinny stuff. You see what I'm getting at? There's just so much potential. You add a panel and you can make a million new things. Here's one of my favorites, a disco panel. So I actually bought some little triangular mirrors on Amazon and I designed a special panel that perfectly fits them. So now I can make disco balls in like any shape I want. This is just a tiny one, but just imagine how awesome this can get. Another really simple specialty panel I made was a square that just has a hole in it that perfectly fits these IKEA corded lights. So Ikea sells these lights that are just a light bulb and a nice looking cord. And it's really easy to screw on uh, your own custom lampshades. So I have this panel and then around that I can build whatever I want. I just really like this one because it's such a weird, unique shape. It's like almost a regular shape, but not quite. So that ended up being really cool. And when I printed out this panel, I just had the infill exposed to form this kind of mesh. And that works really well for this light shade. Here's another one I made. It's a lithophane light. Everyone loves lithophanes and with poly panels, you can connect a bunch together to make some really complicated stuff. You see, they're so small that you could print them on just about any printer. And generally, they're also really simple. None of the panels I've made use any support material. They don't require brims or rafts or anything. They're very simple and relatively quick prints. But you take these small, simple pieces and combine them together, and all of a sudden, you have complicated, massive models 
that would be hard to print on even the fanciest 3D printer. Poly panels. I'm in love with these things. Wait, there's another big light I made. Whoa! Check out this one. It's like a meteorite and yeah, it's this crazy shape. So not only can you make very regular polyhedra, you can make completely organic, low poly type models. Of course, add enough triangles and it's not low poly anymore. You can get huge. And trust me, I do plan on getting huge. I've just been trying to put together a kind of sampler platter for you guys, you know? I'm doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, to show you that you can make beautiful things, you can make functional things, you can make fun things, you can make anything. anything. The fact that this system is so modular is really what makes it as powerful as it is. Because think about it, if you wanted to make this exact light, but you didn't happen to have this specific IKEA light fixture, well, all you have to do is swap out a single panel for one that fits the light that you have, but then everything else can remain the same. And that's the real beauty of these poly panels. Well, no, the real beauty is pretty much that you can make anything. Well, no, the, the real beauty of poly panels is the fact that I can't do it alone. In order for this system to reach its true potential and to really become as powerful as it possibly can, well, we'd have to come together as a community and all work on it, and it would become something that we can all be immensely proud of. I guess that's the real beauty of polypanels, huh? And that's why we're gonna kick this off with a bang with a competition. Yes, that's right. Competitions are fun because we get to give away prizes, but this one's gonna be especially awesome because the goal is to produce a huge library of specialty poly panels in a short amount of time so that we can start making some amazing things with this system. So I've teamed up with My Mini Factory and Snapmaker to host a poly panel competition. And it has not only one, but two parts that will allow you to win a 3D printer. First of all, of course, we wanna see the panels that you can create. So just start brainstorming and thinking up some kind of poly panel that would be really cool. Whether it's one panel or a whole system that works together or just a whole bunch of different functional things or beautiful things, I'll link to the competition in the description and you can get all the fine details. But basically, I just wanna see something that blows my mind. So make an awesome panel and, uh, or make a hundred, you know, better yet. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's the first part of the competition. You'll have four weeks to just make an awesome poly panel. And uh, the winner of that competition will get a Snapmaker 2 3-in-1 3D printer. So you guys saw the Snapmaker earlier on. I used that. It's a robust, lovely little printer. And I'm sure the new version has even more awesome features. You can also use it to engrave things with lasers. You can CNC things. It's a really powerful and versatile little machine, so that's an awesome prize. The good news is that I want this to be as easy for you as possible. It should be easy to make special poly panels. So I've got a website, first of all, makeanything.design slash polypanels, where I'll host all sorts of resources, as well as just information about poly panels, how they work, and how you can best make your own specialty panels that are compatible with all the other poly panels. So once again, that's makeanything.design slash polypanels. Check it out. I'll also definitely be having more uh, tutorial videos and just general inspirational polypanel stuff coming out on this channel soon. So subscribe, ring that bell so you get it ASAP. And uh, oh yeah, I'm also gonna be releasing the native Fusion 360 files for the basic panels. So you can actually go into the file that I used when I made this panel, and then it's a lot easier to modify it for whatever you want to do. Hopefully that'll allow you guys to make all the poly panels that are starting to pop up into your brain and make those real so that we can all make something awesome together. So that's the first part of the competition, make some awesome poly panels. But the second part of the competition is that we just want to see the awesome things that you guys make with all of these panels. 
So whether it's just using triangles or if you end up downloading some of the panels that other people make in this competition or if you make your own, whatever the case, we just want to see the awesome stuff you make, take some nice pictures and share them as a community print on my mini factory and our favorite photo slash submission will win another Snapmaker 2 3D printer. So that's two chances to win this 3D printer and two awesome ways to participate in this poly panel journey that we're taking together. All right, so that's the competition. Here's the inspiration, just a little bit of what I've done so far. As I said, there's so much more that can be done with this and I can't do it alone. I've got to give a big thanks to My Mini Factory for helping me put this competition together. Thanks to Snapmaker for providing those awesome printers as a prize. And of course, thanks to my patrons who contribute month after month to help me sustain this channel. If you love what you see here on Make Anything, please consider joining Patreon and helping fund this channel. Um, on top of that, you get some pretty awesome little perks. I like to post lenses to give you a bit of a behind the scenes look at what I'm doing on Make Anything. And uh, we've also got our Discord chat up, including a Poly Panels beta testing group. So those of you who were in that group got to see some of these panels and print some of them out before anyone else. And uh, surely that will continue to be the case as I develop more specialty panels, as well as other projects in the future. I think that's a really cool way to use Patreon. Leave comments if you guys have ideas for specialty panels, unless you're gonna make them yourself for the competition, I'll take suggestions as well because I'm gonna keep making panels. What kinds of bigger projects do you guys wanna see me make with these panels? Because believe it or not, this, all of this is just the very beginning. I have so many other panels that I'm printing nonstop. Like you guys have no idea how many panels I've printed. <laughs> Seriously, no. Okay, there you have it. These are poly panels. And like I'm saying, this is just the beginning. I'm so excited to see where it goes, but that's it for today. So until next time, I'm Devin, this is Make Anything, and as always, stay inspired.